Okay, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Department of Mathematics. Now let me see the research methodology, methods for data collection and descriptive statistics. Data. The data can be defined as a collection of observations expressed in numerical figures. Method of collection of data. Complete enumeration and simple survey method. Data is always in con collective sense and never be used in singular. Then next we see the, the types of data. Statistical data divided into two broad categories. First one is qualitative data. In this type there is no numerical relation with one another. Example skin color and eye color. Types of data. So, quantitative data. In this type of data there is numerical relation with one another. It may be continuous or discrete. Example, discrete for discrete number of books, number of students and for continuous height or weight of person. This is the difference between qualitative data and quantitative data. Qualitative data in, in the qualitative data always discrete. Quantitative discrete or continuous. Uh, it has no magnitude. It has mag have magnitude. In qualitative data, persons with same character are counted to form groups. In quantitative data, arranged by both character and frequency. Fourth one is results are expressed as ratio or proportion. In quantitative data, it is a statistical method. Exam for example, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, etc. Then next we see the, the classification of data. According to source of data collection, it can be divided into primary data and secondary data. Primary data directly from field or exp experiment. Secondary data obtained from primary or review. Then next we say the, the classification of data according to variable. It is divided, divided into univariable, bivariable and multivariable. According to completion, it can be divided into raw data and derived data. Primary data. Primary data or data collected from, directly from the field of inquiry for a specific purpose. These are raw data or data in original nature and directly collected from population. The collection of data made through either by complete enumeration or sampling survey method. The secondary data or numerical information which have been already collected by some agency for a specific purpose and are compiled from that source of uh, for application in different connection. Then collection of primary data can be Direct personal observation, indirect oral uh, in investigation, questionnaire sent by mail, and schedules sent through investigators. Then next we see the, the common measures of central tendency are mean, median, mode, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. Then next we see the, the testing of hypothesis. A hypothesis is an assumption about the population parameter which is to be tested for that we collect sample data then we calculate sample statistics and then we use this information to judge or decide whether hypothesed value of population parameter is correct or not then next we see the, the process capability presence performance of a process in a state of statistical control it is measure of uniformity of a quality characteristics of interest a common measure of process capability is given by sigma Sigma, score, sigma 6 which is also called the process spread. Benefits of process capability analysis are uniformity of output, maintained or improved quality, product or process design facilitated, assistance in vendor selection and control, reduction in total cost.